Good day, I'm Andrea Chisholm and this is your GIS News for Wednesday, April 16. Government has granted Energy World International EWI the license to supply 381 megawatts of electric power to the Jamaica Public Service Company using natural gas as the fuel source. The license was granted on April 4, then modified and restated on the 14th under the terms of a power purchase agreement between the JPS and EWI. Energy Minister Philip Powell says the natural gas-fired project is a game-changer and is among the first steps towards reducing the price for electricity to the productive sectors and the wider Jamaican population. The project will be implemented over 26 months so that by mid-2016, JPS customers should already be benefiting from reduced electricity costs. It will reduce Jamaica's vulnerability to volatile oil prices by supporting fuel source diversification and should also reduce the country's carbon footprint by providing providing cleaner energy. Government has spent $24 million to provide a new first-class basic school for residents of Belfield District in St. Catherine. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller officially opened the new Marley Hill Basic School Tuesday, marking the second such opening under the Jamaica 50 Legacy Project to build nine early childhood institutions. The first was opened in Westmoreland and another two are ready to be opened while five are nearing completion. Our position as a government on the reform of early childhood education remains rock solid and non-negotiable. Notwithstanding the serious resource constraints facing our country, no child must be left behind. This school is a legacy for the community. And this means that the community must own, protect, and preserve this school from any kind of vandalism. Marley Hill was built by the Culture, Health, Arts, Science and Education Chase Fund, which saved $3 million on the project through efficient implementation. The new structure features two large classrooms, a kitchen, sanitary facilities, sick bay, and staff and principal offices. It has been furnished with an industrial stove, refrigerator, outdoor play equipment, and water tanks. The focus will be on parental responsibility when Jamaica celebrates Child Month in May. At the recent launch, the National Child Month Committee, NCMC, announced that the 2014 theme was Parents Take Responsibility, Break the Cycle. It is the intention of the National Child Month Committee to help individuals who are directly responsible for the development of our children to center their attention on the all-important role of parenting and the negative impact it could have on our children and by extension our nation when we lose focus of our responsibilities. Events include a church service, Youth Outstanding Academic Achievement Award Ceremony and National Children's Day activities on May 16. Even as government acts to address current water shortages due to drought, work is advancing on the draft 2014 water sector policy. The draft is a review of the 2004 policy and focuses on significantly increasing access to water island-wide. New policy will speak to access, movement of access, present access is in the KMA 98%, major towns 86%, and rural areas lagging behind at 45 percent so we are hoping that with this policy we can provide a way forward a direction that will move access to 100 percent work on the policy is being done in conjunction with consultant castalia strategic advisor and finally, the Water Ministry has embarked on a series of public consultations to get public feedback on the draft water sector policy and implementation plan. Chief Technical Director in the Ministry, retired Lieutenant Colonel Oral Khan, says the consultations will give people a greater understanding of government's plans for increasing water access. The draft policy and the wider presentation on water resources management are intended to provide a guide to the work taking place in the Ministry and will clearly show the general improvements in the sector, the constraints as well as the general direction and vision of the Ministry of Water, Land, Environment and Climate Change for the water sector. Consultations have already been held in Montego Bay and Anata Bay and continue in Mandeville on April 23 and Kingston on April 30. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Andrew Chisholm. Thank you for watching.